Hey everyone, and welcome to my June weekly plan with me. And in this section, I've actually included a little bit of a bonus video, and it will be on me planning out my June palette and spreads. Yeah, my June palette and spreads. I don't know why I hesitated saying that. So what I did was I made six boxes for colors that I wanted for the Tombow Dual Brush Pens, and then I made six more for Crayola Super Tips, those that would match, or I could get as close to matching those Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I made a fine liner section, I made a gel pen section, I made a paint pen section, and then a midliner section. Then the next part that I did was I actually put the numbers that I wanted on underneath the uh, Tombow dual brush pen section so that I could know exactly what color score upon corresponded to where and I just filled them in and actually I had done practice on another page in this book trying to find colors that matched the Tombow dual brush pens and it was a trial. So these are the colors that I picked. I picked it's all kind of all blue themed. And as you see the top, the theme itself is moon. Yeah, and I used gold instead of, uh, well gray instead of gold because I, I used a gold gel pen and that actually makes it's a lot brighter and shinier than any kind of yellow super tip that I had. So then I just stuck on that. So then I used two different midliners and then I use this gold paint pen that I have. It's kind of metallic-y and I use that. Where do I use that in my, I use it on my brain dump page. That's where I use it at. So these are my spreads. Now I included the old spreads that I had from the previous month. Then I included new spreads that I wanted to add. And then the final section on this page is going to have spreads that I don't want to use anymore. The ones that I'm kind of omitting from my June spread that were in my May spread. Wow, I had to think about the months for a second there. So those are things that I didn't find working and as I had mentioned in my last video and I'll link that below, it's the actual June plan with me spread. I like to evaluate what works and what doesn't and I change it. So that's pretty much it for this section here. Now we're moving on to me actually planning the second week of my bullet journal. And I loved, speaking of my, my brain dump page, I loved how I had ripped out um, some of my watercolor paper, mixed media paper, and I painted it and then I used some um, of my gold paint and I splattered it to make it have a kind of a starry effect. Uh, and I loved that the way it looked in that section. So I wanted to recreate it on this theme. So I had seen something on Pinterest, I believe. I'd seen something on Pinterest and I wanted to kind of recreate it just a little bit but I didn't want to paint in this book so I did that and I added it here and it kind of like it looks like clouds just a little bit so I made this week's spread horizontal vor vertical wow <laughs> vertical as well because I was about to say except Sunday is horizontal because I didn't have enough room and they're 8 by 21 they're 8 by 21 and the horizontal is 24 by 9, except my Sunday, it has the weekly calendar kind of blocking out part of it. So it's a little bit less. Plenty, more than enough room. Um, I've worked on my current week spread a lot and I find that I am not using all of the space, which is good. It's okay. I like that. I like having a little bit too much more space than I need than not enough. So I'm completely content with not using all of that space. And in case I want any events, I can actually put my events at the bottom or any kind of notes that I want for that happened that day that I want to remember 
um, on the bottom of the page as well or at the bottom of each section. So I took my Tombow Furunosuke pen and I wrote out the word notes here and I did have to make sure that I had a note section on my calendar because I need to, I've, I finally started using it and figuring out how I want to use it. So any kind of notes that I want for the next week, I can just add it here or any little extra things that I might want to do this week that I don't know exactly what day I want to do it on, I add it to this, to this notes page. Glad I found a use for it because I was afraid I'd have to remove it. Um, after after the last couple of weeks i think i started lose, using it the last two weeks of may is when i finally started using the note section all the other note sections are pretty much blank so i as on the previous week spread i had a moon and i used my paint pen yes i used a paint pen to to color it in this time i decided to make a moon it's actually in the corresponding position it's on the same exact page, it's just on the back side of this, and I wanted to paint it. So I I drew it out. It's actually a little bit larger than the other one. So um, my regular circle wasn't big enough. So I had to use this, this stencil, the arcs stencil, to kind of make up for it. And it, it took some trying, but I actually got it working. So what I decided to do was I grabbed my, I think it's the Colero Gold Metallic Paint this one and I painted it so I had to make sure that I used very little water because if I used too much water then it would have ended up bleeding through the page or making the page too wet I I learned this lesson um, when I was practicing in my in my test book um, and I'll probably make that mistake again if I end up using way too much water so I used a little bit of water and I started painting it gold and the only time I've actually used this gold as you can see it's on the paper where I've already painted it dark so as I paint it I'm like oh it's so light I'm like what am I gonna do I'm like well I can just put another coat on it so I put another coat on it and I think I make it I use a different I used a darker one this one I think I'm using the third color and the yeah, my third color I think it's the Arabic gold one the Arabic gold and then I can't remember what the first one is called um I know this Arabic Inca I can't remember the other names but yeah so I end up using two different golds on here just to hoping that it would make it a little bit darker but a second coat does just fine so I do that and then um I'm too impatient to let anything dry, really. I'm like, oh, well, you know, it'll have time to dry. Not really. <laughs> Normally, I get take a blow dryer to it, but I, I didn't. So I had to really carefully go around these edges on my notes section so I didn't end up smudging or, or tearing the part that's wet. Um, so that's why you can see the paint crinkle and I'm I'm just using the very tip of the the ruler to get to get the lines that I wanted so after I finish boxing in this section I actually move back to my small calendar I believe after I erase this stuff I I go to my small calendar and I grab my Sakura Micron Pigma Micron pen. I think it's the 01. Yeah, because the bottom is rubbed off. Um, and I just line out what days that I want or the spread the way I want it. And then I just move on to my note section and I make lines on it just so that I can fill it in. I feel that making these lines kind of help up help break up the really empty pages uh, I don't have a I know I'll be filling the whole thing in but I mean it looks it looks pretty I like it and um and it di differentiates this section from the rest of it so now I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to 
put the days of the week because now I have this this watercolor paper on top of or mixed media paper I keep on saying watercolor paper this is mixed media paper on top of my notebook and then just the the notebook because I need the dots and so I have to figure out exactly where I want the circle and I make little circles so that I can write the dates and I put them halfway maybe a little bit less than half on that mixed media paper and then halfway on the in the box and I just go through and I, I had marked all the center of them so that they're all even and then I'll grab my Tombow dual brush pen in black and I believe it's the N15 shade that I use to actually make to actually fill it in I didn't want to use my uh, Tombow pen to do it or the um, a Fudenosuke pen because I didn't want to mess that tip up and I used the actual marker tip and not the brush pen brush pen tip I had to make sure that it wasn't actually leaking through the page which it doesn't which I really like that because my Crayola super tips definitely leak through the page so I might end up using my Tombow dual brush pens a lot more than I do the Crayola super tips it really depends um, I have a little bit of a problem of buying them a lot. I have a lot of them. I think I have like 60 something of the 101 colors or the 103. I think I have 103 right now. Really trying not to buy the rest of them. <laughs> um, I always grab them when they're on sale. I don't like, I don't want to pay full price. So I get them when they're like 50% off, which is um, really good. fill in the dates and then I grab my midliner highlighter the blue I have two blues that I picked for this month it's a kind of a teal blue and then more of a, a, a natural blue or a more of the muted blue so I only use the teal blue on my mood trackers to mark the days off and so I use the regular blue, I just call it the regular blue, to highlight the week. And then I grab the yellow and I highlight, well, highlight the week itself. And the blue is used to highlight the weekdays, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I use those um, to, to mark those days. So now I have gone and write the days of the week so the 10th and it's kind of difficult because as I said with the two different paper styles it's you have to go from like writing on that paper and then onto regular paper and making it kind of look seamless which it wasn't too terrible then the last two things that I end up doing for this spread are I write June 2019 at first I was just gonna write June but then I didn't make it big enough so then I had a little extra space on there and I wrote 2019 on there I might end up filling the top with a little quote or the bottom whichever and then I write in block letters with my white Sigma Uniball Sigma yeah my Uniball Sigma I write Monday through Friday on on them I just do the abbreviations of it then M-O-N you know the shortened not just the abbreviation just the shortened dates that's pretty much it that I have for this spread really easy really excited for this next week to get started let me know what you guys are doing my Instagram was noted in the beginning and you can find it in the description box below please let me know what you think in the comments as well like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you watched here and as always thanks for watching